Okay. Mom, 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 where is that? We're ready to go. Bye. 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 Bye, everybody. Jane's going back to Taiwan. Hi, Jane. All right, Jasmina, Ben, we're going to go. All right, see you in a few weeks. First time I'm not the one driving to the airport. Yay. I get, I get really sleepy when I drive. Um, so the plan is, of course, um, we're going to stop by Flushing and we're going to meet with my dad's company one last time about the hot oil. And then uh, the walk is already being ordered. So we've got a thousand walks on the way here. And because we are flying Yiba Airlines again, the food is, is pretty mediocre. So we're going to eat something in Flushing. Our flight leaves around midnight. This is going to be a really, really long trip um, because uh, we're going to four, four different countries. So this is the first multi-country trip. Typically, I don't like to travel that much because it's just too tiring. You get tired? I don't know. I never travel like this. I, I get tired. So I'm old. So like, <laughs> but it's going to be a long trip. Um, but hopefully, a lot of great content. I'm very excited about the food we're going to encounter in the Philippines, Malaysia, Singapore, all the other places. It's not going to be an easy trip. Let's say that. First stop, my parents' house. Hello. I got my parents this tea from Taiwan. It's really good tea. Me and my bao cha. Taiwan. This time, because we are parking and <laughs> leaving our car in Elmhurst, it's actually cheaper that way. You leave your car in Elmhurst, no street cleaning, and then you take a Uber to the airport. It's a lot cheaper than actually parking around the airport. Um, so we're gonna eat around Elmhurst and. We're gonna go to my favorite noodle restaurant, uh, Uncle Joe's. Someone told me that it closed down, but it's right here. It's fine. It's good. It's still open, so I'm gonna go eat some noodles. So apparently, this place did change ownership. It's not the same place anymore. It used to be like a Hanan place with uh, a lot of noodles. Is they still have the noodles, but they added like a bunch of other dishes here, all like north. So it's northeastern Chinese cuisine now. Um, so I got this right here. This is one of my favorite dishes. It's not fried turnip. That's inaccurate. It's, it's stir fried cabbage. This is great. I love it. Um, this is a very much a uh, a northeastern dish. This is like fried pork and sweet sour sauce. That should be good. And then I got some stir fried potatoes. I'm gonna tell you guys if this place is good or not. First dish. This is the um, very native northeastern food this is like basically fried pork slices of pork deep fried with that sweet and sour glaze and i can smell the sweet and sour glaze from here all right it looks very crispy very saucy i really wanted some wontons like desperately i love wontons very excited about the wontons This is the uh, cabbage, stir fried cabbage. Yes, nice. Gotta add some hot oil. And some of my wontons. That's a must. Oh, thank you. That's what I always get here. Down down noodles with the hot oil and garlic. I'm gonna mix this up. Look at that. Tell me your mouth is not watering right now. Look at this beautiful noodle. Oh, so nice. Last dish, stir fried potato slices. One of my favorite things in the world. Let's try this wonton now. Mm. So I'm gonna try the wonton first. It's good. I wish the filling was a little bigger. There's a lot of dough here, a lot of skin. But the soup flavor, and the pork filling flavor is good. The go bao rou. Can I hear that crunch? Nice crunchy outer shell. A little sweet, little sour. I'm not an expert on this particular dish, but it tastes pretty good to me. Yeah. Grab some of this cabbage. I feel like it needs a little bit of vinegar. I have a little vinegar to this. This dish really, it needs to be a little vinegary.
Mm. For six bucks, it's pretty good. Finally, shredded potatoes. Mm. They cooked that just perfectly. This is the most important thing, you know? That's still as good as I ever was. Honestly, I feel like the quality of this place didn't really change much. The dishes might be a little different. I feel like the quality of the level is still there. I would definitely come back. I feel like for the value, they give you a lot of food for what you're paying for. I'm glad they kept the family on noodles. I think because of that, it's still pretty much the same old Uncle Joe's. That's the place, I don't know if you guys can see, that I thought I had the best chicken rice until I went to Singapore. And that's where I learned the truth. All right, I think that's, that's it. Ate some food, walked around. Let's go to the airport. Like I mentioned, flying um, premium economy because I, I, I gotta get some sleep um, before Taiwan. And I figured the food might be a little better. Pretty big screen. This is my iPad mini. We get a couple of bottles of water. Slippers, really helpful. And a amenity kit with all the usual suspects. You know, socks, toothbrush, hand cream, footstool. I'm in the last row, so I'm gonna see how far the seats lean back. Ooh, leans back pretty far. Oh. And I don't really feel bad because there's no one behind me. It's kind of perfect. This is actually really, really good. I'm uh, basically in a sleep position right now. I think this thing leans back further than the most premium economy flights I've been on. I can definitely get some sleep like this. I'll show you guys again. So this is like upright and then all the way. That's really nice. Premium economy is actually pretty empty on this flight. Good chance that nobody's sitting here. The only bad thing is, unlike economy seats, these armrests, they don't lift up. If these armrests lift up, this will make a darn good bed. Okay, it's official. I got the whole roll to myself. Yay. I guess I'll see you at dinner, slash breakfast, slash midnight snack. She's handing out my favorite book right now. Thank you. Soya chicken with daiwan, salad, Guinness, braised pork, served with a bean. This one's pretty good. I think I had this on the last time I flew uh, Eva Airline. I don't think, I think this is the same thing. I definitely am gonna stay away from this. The ham and cheese sandwich might be the best thing they serve on this flight. They usually toast it, it's nice and hot. I love this. The green tea and the Calpas water. And for breakfast, pan fried egg with stallion and dry turnip. This is new. I think I'm gonna go for this. I love fish floss. It's my favorite type of floss. Uh, beef, please. Thank you. I got the braised beef, and the biggest difference I noticed right away between the premium economy meal and the economy meal is there's a lot more food. In economy meals, you don't get the salad, and I don't think you get this little appetizer as well. All right, let's take a look at the entree. First impression, the beef has some white stuff on there. I'm thinking that's fat. The salad actually looks really refreshing. This little side dish of, of chicken and Chinese broccoli looks pretty good. Fruit and raspberry cheesecake. I love this little oil and vinegar thingy. Asparagus, tomatoes, arugula, kale. I mean, what can I say? Vegetables fresh. Tomatoes nice and juicy. Overall, pretty decent salad. Garlic nice and crunchy. Chicken definitely cold.
it's a little dry, nice soy saucy umami flavor. This may be the best thing on this plate right now. Then if you put down your salad, nice soy sauce chicken salad, but I really don't know about this. I think this is just beef fat. That really does not look that appetizing. It's disintegrating. That's never good. It's not the worst thing I've had on Zaline. It's pretty salty. That weird outer layer is, is kind of mushy. But the noodles, I mean, it doesn't have any flavor, but it's got a nice chew. Green beans. Green beans, not bad. Yeah, that chicken was definitely the best thing on this plate. I remember this guy from last time, and I really like this. The raspberry cheesecake. Yeah, I remember liking this. Mm. Good cheesecake. Again, best thing here is the chicken. Second best thing, cheesecake. For premium economy, like I mentioned to you guys, you get the extra um, appetizer dish, and you get a nice salad. The entree is the same as the economy entree. Usually, it, it's just a little bigger in size, but, but it's the same stuff. But still, with the chicken, it made this whole meal seem a lot better. I wonder, take some of uh, the balsamic vinegar and oil, and then put some on the beef, because the beef is really fatty. I'm gonna see if uh, the vinegar makes the flavor a little better. Oh, much better. That beef was like really ridiculously fatty, but a little vinegar kind of balances it out a bit. Not bad. Thank you. This is similar to the breakfast I had on this airline last time. I remember this being pretty good last time. So breakfast is sliced chicken and mushroom congee, a quiche, some fruit, and what looks like green beans and pork and shrimp. That Chinese steam bun or manto fish floss. Pour that over the congee. It makes it a little sweeter, a little saltier, a little crunchier. Definitely a lot fishier. This is probably um, the best main dish I've had on this airline so far. not bad. You need the fish floss because otherwise the kanji is still, it is still not that flavorful. A lot of gingers in here, scallions. This I've never tried. Mm. That's here the crunch. That's actually pretty fantastic. It's meaty, a little shrimpy. Green beans are nice and fresh. The fish, I'm not that, I'm not that big fan of. Only because I, I don't like my quiche cold. I like the crunch of the scallions that's inside. Otherwise, not my favorite thing. Actually, I think this will taste really good. If I put some in the kanji. Mm. Love that crunch. I feel like um, this bun is kind of out of place here because you already have your carbs in the kanji. And it's very traditional for Chinese people to eat a bun with the kanji, even though it's kind of like carbs on carbs. I'm just gonna dip mine in here. Besides the quiche, this is a super Chinese breakfast. Let's see if the warm kanji can kind of make the cold quiche better. A little bit. Not a bad breakfast, but um, we're about to land in Taiwan. And right after I land, I need some Taiwanese food. There'll be more eating going on. I feel like I've been to Taipei a lot this year. It's about 6.30 in the morning right now, and um, I'm gonna actually go out of the airport because, uh, like I mentioned before, the layover is 10 hours. I'm gonna go film our first uh, food video at a 7-Eleven, so eating at a 7-Eleven in Taiwan. I think it's gonna be pretty fun. It's just me and Jasmina. Jasmina! Jasmina! I can't even say your name. Um, because Ben can't, get, ben can't leave the airport. So just us. You hungry? No. No? Uh, did you eat all the air, airplane food? Uh, what did you think of the airplane food? Uh, I hmm? don't know. Just the plane going like this makes me not, so, nauseous. But you still ate it? Like, 
Yeah. Did you like the kanji? I thought uh, that was the uh, best thing. I like the kanji. That was the best thing, right? I wish they served that first and then went to anything else. Did you eat the ham and cheese sandwiches? I thought those no, were okay. Alright, well, we're gonna go eat at the 7 Eleven. It's supposed to be massive, it's supposed to have a lot of stuff in there. Um, so now we're just gonna figure out how to get there. I won 7-Eleven. Just a feast. Just finished filming our 7-Eleven video. Oh, I did not know you can actually find decent food at a 7-Eleven. It's good to know. At the 7-Eleven in the US, what, what, what do you eat there? Hot dog and a donut and, and some Slurpee? But 7-Eleven Taiwan, awesome. Now we gotta head back to the airport and go to the Philippines. Oh, this looks really, really good. I can't leave Taiwan without having some braised pork over rice. I just can't do it. I gotta have it. our Airbnb um, it's uh, you know it's got a chandelier <laughs> what is what is here what is this this is a window so the view is that there's three rooms and uh, it's very I don't know the, the sheets are very sparkly I, I should say right I already saw a cockroach yeah, I saw What? Yeah. Uh oh. I feel like in Vietnam we had a much more luxurious Airbnb than. Did they say there's a gym in this building? Yeah. There is? I think this was like 70 or $80 a night for three bedrooms, which is great. But you know what? It's, I mean, for the value, I, I think it's pretty good. I mean, we each, get, we each get a room, you know, this building seemed nice and secure. There's a 7-Eleven downstairs, not as fancy as the one in Taiwan. Not too bad. All right, this has been a long trip and we're gonna get started bright and early tomorrow morning hitting the food tours. It's gonna be awesome. So thank you guys so much for following along. I'll see you later.